Hello, Mike Uaz here, Case IH. Uh, now I'm in a Magnum 260. So let's take a look at the armrest pad here and see what's changed, the uh, difference between this and a Steiger. So I'm going to go ahead and open this uh, handy dandy little pad up and let's get into the all these uh, functions here. Starting off on the left hand side, we see our position control for a three point hitch, draft control right behind it. If you're hooking up an implement, you can actually go in and change these uh, these uh, buttons here. You can just push them like your fender switches. You can do small adjustments instead of having to turn your position control. Next is auto guidance and gauge right there. You got your stop signs. So for your three point hitch that's locked out, or for your remotes that are locked out, that's the stop signs right there. This little light, that light can come on if the hitch moves via these buttons or the fender buttons and uh, this hasn't uh, moved. So that means they're just out of sync. So if you take and you actually just cycle it, it will capture it, so it's called hitch capture. Next, four-wheel drive, auto right here, full-time. Auto diff lock, full-time diff lock. Scraper controls, one and three, right here. Next, if you have a tractor that has radar, you can measure wheel slip and it will correlate to what the hitch position is and you can limit your hit, uh, slip wheel slip by hitch position. It will do it automatically. Next, you've got your auto depth controls. So for implements that have their own potentiometer to know their depth, we can run those functions too. Next, you've got your constant engine speeds here on this side. So right here, you've got your constant engine speeds and fine tuned adjustment. Let's take a look up at the top. This is for top link, okay, it's right here top link, and this is for your right hand link. If for some of you that do have a right hand link uh, that's adjustable, hydraulic adjustable there. We've got your suspension lockout, that's the button there. Ride control for three point hitch implements. This is if you have a joystick. You can actually set it to the mid mount valves if the tractor has mid mounts or if it has uh, uh, rear mount valves, which all tractors do, you can control it with a joystick right here. Push that button. Brake control. So if you have an engine brake on the tractor, you can control it there. End of row functions. Record. You've got your auto playback. And then your step playback right there. Finally, I'm going to wrap it up with the auto controls, auto PTO control. And that allows you, if you lift the three-point hitch up, it'll turn the PTO off. If you lower the three-point hitch, the PTO will come back on. So those are the buttons that are on a Magnum armrest pad.